Hi, Dyslexic Genius here at Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to show you is how to pack a phonograph for shipping, especially for overseas shipment. So let's say we're in New York and we're shipping this thing to Germany or to Japan. What you need is at least four inches of padding around the machine. So what I first do is I find a box that's appropriate for it, and I set the lid in. And lo and behold, I got about four inches of padding all the way around that. But I also have got to bubble wrap this. And I also check everything, and I have four inches of padding here. Of course, you're going to turn it the long way. I'll turn it the long way, just right. like that. But this is sure. The other thing is, the majority of people don't know how to remove and put back on a reproducer. And because the AB has a floating reproducer, so you bought one on eBay and you're having it shipped to the United States someplace, you have to specify how to do this. Because most people seriously don't know it had, this reproducer has two pins in here. This is the pin I made. You can pull it out with a pair of needle nose pliers, but I'm gonna ship it with that. And how you do this is really easy, but you have to understand some. You want to save your Walmart bag, your plastic bag. These things are really great. Wait, are you shipping it with this mandrel or? Uh, yeah, I'm shipping it with. I'm shipping it with the standard mandrel. The other box will have the aluminum horn and the mandrel. And this mandrel weighs more than this aluminum horn. And also, this aluminum horn will bend and crush like a Budweiser can. So you have to remember that, that this thing is light and very delicate. So you're taking off the five inch mandrel to ship this overseas. Yeah, I'm ship, taking the five inch mandrel off to ship it because this thing is heavy. And that will protect the reproducer? And, yeah, that'll re protect the machine and the reproducer. You want to first make sure when you tell people I want to ship the phonograph to me, you want to make sure it's totally run down. I also, don't, this right here, you'll see this move right here on my finger. That's that's the break off, that's the break on. I want the break off. If there's any minute tension left in the spring and something happens and it wants to let go, I want everything to be able to spin freely or move a little. I wanna have, I wanna have slack in the motor and the carriage because I'm gonna lock the carriage in place. Here it's loose. I'm gonna lock that in place. Then what I'm going to do, because I have to protect the skyline, also I put the winding key in here. That can just float in there. I'm going to pack it. And you can feel it move like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this little tiny box. And I'm going to put that in there like that. Now the reproducer is padded with this. Then you're, what you're going to do is say, oh, will the lid go on without touching anything? So now we have to test this. I don't feel any touching of the top of this. There's enough space under here for that. Now we're just going to see. Remember I talked about tape? We're not using tape. And then we're just going to tighten everything down gently. And now everything, it wiggles, but it, there's no up and down movement like this. One other note, when you ship photographs or move photographs, I've talked about tying, you know, you take the turntable off and you tie, you, you tie up the tone arm and you hook it to something like the spindle shaft. Well, I've come up with a better idea. I use trash bags. These things work great. They're disposable. You don't have to buy anything. You always have these things. At the and it doesn't hurt the machine. It doesn't hurt the, hurt the machine. Now I'm going to go get a few more plastic bags and I'll, I'll wrap this up and stick this in here 
and I'll build up on the bottom so that the key isn't wiggling. And we'll come in here. Locks, unlocks, nothing's touching. After I have this done, I'm going to take bubble wrap. I'm going to wrap it with bubble wrap. And that'll be in the next video because I don't want to burn time showing you this. So the next video will be the lid on, wrapped in bubble wrap, and ready to go into the box. And then I will show you the horn and uh, mandrel also, the five inch mandrel. This is a lot of fun, but these are very critical things when you're shipping phonographs. Unless you're getting somebody like Craters and Freighters, we're going to pack it up, charge you a bunch of money or to do this, or, or you go to you know FedEx and say, here, pack this, it gets really expensive very quickly. And this is my tip for the day.